this is not a sponsor i'm just going to really quickly address something uh in the last video i titled it wrong uh, i used the wrong vada actually there was one VOD that had like 300 ability haste because i had accelerating sorcery which allows you to stack of eight ability haste every time you use an ability but unfortunately uh, i used a, a different ash VOD. that one's that one's good too but uh i just i titled it accurately sorry for the uh the mistake there but also at the same time why do you care okay thanks uh and i hope you enjoyed this video Okay, so this Malphite's a little bit of an idiot. I'm gonna ping here so we can kill this guy right away. Just press R. Just press R. Okay, so what's really annoying about that is I told him to press R and he didn't. It is just, it is simply a game of predictions at that point. The average human being's reaction time will cap out around 150. That's fucking fast, okay? 150 is like an FPS pro. Now, the actual average person uh, reaction time is about 300 for the entire population. For younger people, it's about 250. 200 to 250, it's a pretty good range, right? Gamers tend to be around 200, a little bit low, below that. And again, FPS players will be 150. Now, the average amount of time it takes you to recognize your mom's face is at about 100 milliseconds. Now, the average amount of time you, you need to have when it comes to your reaction times to react to a Malphite ulti is fucking like one. You know what I mean? You have to, it's like that fast. It's that fast, okay? It's that fucking fast. So, seriously, when you're Malphite, just R. Just fucking R. Okay, I gave you like a, a nice range of things, right? Think about it. A nice range of things that people have to, to keep in mind. And like, you know, people are probably playing on like 20 ping to 80 ping somewhere there. Holy shit, he's gonna react to Malphite ulti in front of his fucking face? No, that's not possible. Especially given how big of an AoE it is. You can just fucking sit on yourself, right? I could I could be Malphite, look at the Rakan. I could be Malphite, I could just, or, or Kasante. I could ulti myself right now and it'll still hit him. So the fact that that motherfucker did not ulti is wild to me, dude. It's fucking wild. Bonkers, bro. My reaction time? My reaction time is 250. I am slow. My advantage is I probably know what you're going to do before you do it. Because I've played this game for 10 plus years and I'm a virgin. Right? I've seen whatever you can do for, I don't know, years. Most people don't surprise me in this game because I'm always primed for this shit. Like, if I know there's a Yone, I'm going to be ready. Like, okay, Yone's probably going to arm me, right? I'm just going to dodge. No problem, Kobe. It's a good one. You're very fast, aren't you? Yeah, you're, yeah, you are one of the fastest right now. Is there a way I could turn on eye tracker? I don't think it's on right now because I don't have a thing. Sorry. Okay, no leash. That's fine. Uh, I mean, uh, monitor refresh rate. And like just you know you becoming a god also things that can happen right okay hecarim either started on raptors or got a leash from top based on the fewer's pathing i speared wrong fuck Okay, because my mid lane is pushed in, I can use this vision advantage to just jump over to their bot side jungle without them seeing. Oh my god, I missed the wall. That might have seen me, I don't know. I'm heal early. And I'm gonna just spam ping here. We have bot advantage. We have mid pushed in. I'm gonna spear underneath. And I'm gonna just keep chasing the jungle because he might double back. I can't believe I missed that.
Okay, Hecarim's still here, probably. I'm gonna just aggro this and start hitting it. Akali has to go back to his wave. I'm gonna ping him to go to the wave. Okay, they actually pulled all of them. But the Akali got a huge advantage off that. I was hoping I could jump over here and smite this. That's fine. I'm sacking my clear and my early game for my lanes here. I made a mistake by missing my, uh, my spear on the Hecarim. I knew he would return. And I missed anyway. Now the Hecarim is doing the crab. I can jump over the wall and just come over. To counter him. I'm gonna just heal him early. That is a sniper Q. Wow, it would've been nice for this guy to give me the kill, but he's a bit of a bit of a piece of shit. How do you feel about Soul Never Die? I had beef with him, I added him, and we just talked a little bit. I, t I confront him in person, actually. I was like, bro, why the fuck do you always flame? And he's like, oh, because you play bad. I'm like, bro, that's fucking embarrassing. Bro. Like, And he's like, yo, you've been playing longer than me? I'm like, dude, you're literally older than me. And I've been challenged for longer than you've been playing. And then he just stopped talking. I think I think we understood. I think there was a mutual, like, all right, all right, let's stop. Yeah, so I chatted them up about assassin junglers. Because I can set aside ego and learn from him. So, should be chill. I always I always confront anyone. Like if they if they flame me and shit like that and I think it's stupid, I always talk to them. I'm not shy with those uh with those conversations. But he is a flamer. And I, I suspect I'm one of the only people that have ever uh bothered to call him out, especially in person. His uh his friends were apologizing for him. <laughs> It's fucking funny. It says a lot about you as a person if your friends have to go like, sorry man, sorry for that guy. You know what I mean? I would be very embarrassed if anyone had to like apologize for the things that I do. Like if I did something in public and then like my, my friends were like, yeah, sorry bro. Like, <laughs> that's fucking embarrassing, dude. I, I was raised better than that for sure. Well done. Wow, no flinch. Was that Warden? He did not flinch. Okay, boss I should have an advantage. I'm gonna just go ping the dragon. Let's go do it. What about Benis King? That guy is a fucking terrible troll, dude. He is such a piece of shit. I've called him out before, and uh, I don't know, he just keeps doing that shit. He'll never make it. Not with how mediocre he is. Okay, all I need to do is play Nidalee like, uh, like a pest. I exacerbate any losing situations for them, and I try to stop the Hecarim any way I can. I can maybe take objectives before him, I can take his camps before him. I'm not a champion that scales. I'm a pest. My top lane wave, I look at it, it's pushing, right? My bot lane, okay, it's pushing to us, they can hold it. Shouldn't be gankable, I dropped a ward behind for them as well. This wave's pushing in, Hecarim could easily look for it. I'm not level 6. So that's fine. We can play here if we'd like. Let's see if the Fiora dashes forward. I can lead a spear into her. I'm gonna just go river here. The minion tanked it.
Damn, what an absurdly hard gank. I can't fucking touch that champion as Asia. Alright, I'm sure they have that by themselves. Wait, what the fuck? You didn't go for it? Oh, that's because he's got a big wave. There we go, I landed that. I'm gonna die for the plate here. Looks like I don't have to die at all. And we killed the cat. That's kind of crazy, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> we killed the cat. Okay, that's literally best case. I got the plate and I escaped. That's kind of crazy. I think the, the junglers have a bit of a difference between the two of them. A little bit. Uh, we could go for the Herald, but I'm going to just go for bot side activity. We just go for this shit. In about 15 seconds we have ulti. Also this Loki Dosi guy, apparently he's a troll, so I, I want to gank him. Yep, I'm going. Maybe he'll hook. That's fine. We get killed with Kaisa. Almost, almost. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, my Rukon should have hit with me. I don't do that much damage yet. Okay, now I play for this then. We've used all our tools. We should be fine. Wave is pushing in hard, actually. So we're free to do something. They could take my Gromp. I play top side. Yeah, this way we can be maximally efficient with our camps. I'm watching my top just in case. He got ulted. Nice. It's okay. I'm going to start this. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that actually. Let's just move on. Alright, instead of invading their top side, like I normally would because I'm a greedy Nidalee player, I'm looking at bot, they're fighting right. And mid wants to rotate. So I'm gonna just drop the Herald here now. It will get some extra hits maybe. And then I can rotate over. We know that Hecarim is going to be in the jungle. I'm going to just jump over. Nice. What a rotate, dude. Holy shit. I'll heal my Rakan once Ignite's gone, and then we'll ping for the dragon. And we got the plates here. Akali should not be helping on the dragon. She barely does anything to the dragon, and she could just be pushing in and getting plate while the cat's dead. I don't know why she's doing that. All right, think about think about what you need to do at any given moment. Think about what your champion does, what it offers to the team, where you should be as a result. Now I'm gonna hover one time because they could try to stop her from getting the plate. I saw the Thresh rotating up. There he is, and I'm just gonna block him from going here so she can get a plate and then leave and then leave. Toss my spear for the Thresh. You see, I could have went to my blue right away. 
Well, because I'm a smart jungler, I know what my team wants to do. Well, actually, I, I I know because I literally fucking told him to go do it, um, and then I and then I play off of that. Okay, so I didn't tell him to fucking fight when Thresh was mid. I didn't say that actually. Oh, okay. He's just gonna do it anyway. Loki, do see some shitter who smurfs account shares in Diamond Leagues. Oh, okay. Wait, he, he literally trolled in earlier lobby, actually. Like, my, my, my team was talking about that. I hovered Brand, and then he locked in Nunu. Okay, so I lost my entire top side, which is expected, because I did stuff uh, mid and bot. But that's completely fine. Oh, okay. Wow. Hello! <laughs> You think about the difference between the two junglers, like what we have uh, achieved, right? I, I got the Rift Herald, I got the Dragons, we get some plates, I play off my bot lane that's winning, you know? It, it's all about identifying win cons. And one of my friends told me, one of my really, really good at this, he's gonna dash to me, yeah. I wait for him, and then I go. Anytime you gank a cat with a uh, mobility ability, for example, like Shinzao E or Jarvan EQ, they always try to fucking jump to you and they think they're smart. So I, I was a little bit too slow to say it, but I knew that she was going to jump to me. So even though I landed the spear, I didn't, I didn't do anything. What she could do is that she could wait. And if she waits, then you just wait too. Wait for your teammate to come. All right, this guy can easily turn on me. So I'm going to I'm gonna play a little bit distance here. A little bit of distance. A little bit of distance. And then Hextack. Try to force the parry here. And then maybe my Kasante could do something. I'm going to shoot my Q up. Okay. Yeah, I was waiting for a dash to, before I did anything. Or sorry, I was waiting for her dash before I, I wanted to do anything. I, I threw the Q upwards because she hit the south vital, and I feel like I felt like she wanted to go for the north vital, so try to predict it, but she just didn't have dash. Okay, we're gonna buy Medjice here, because I'm just gonna play to not die. And like, you know, play properly, right? There are rarely any times where Nidalee has to like go and die. Right? Playing for zero deaths is not exactly the best. Playing to not die when you don't have to is technically, like, uh, that. that's what you should be going for, you know what I mean? Because there's some cases where, like, you dying will get your team a lot. Like, you just have to send it. Right? But, like, play it as best as you can. Not, like, literally go die. Alright, I'm gonna ping to invade here. So you'll notice I'm farming a little bit here because I have a lot more power now. And so Nidalee accelerates really hard, right? She can literally just nuke camps. Yeah, I'm gonna ping to go on this because this guy is typing. He's not paying attention for sure. I need to jump away. I'm getting fleed. I'll look for the spear on Ophelios. Good. Try to get people when they're not expecting it, right? Because the the Ophelios is probably thinking that like I'm looking at the Hecarim and I'm worried about that, but I'm actually just looking at him. All right, cat's on bot side here. Let's try to lead a spear into him. Went for a hook. Cat's gonna come over here. I'm gonna delete the boss going early. I don't mind just walking with my team here. Heal the Rakan. Nice. Good. At some point, Nidalee gets enough damage on our Kruger form where you don't even have to land the spear. You can kind of just hit. Alright, here comes Hecarim and Katarina. I, I'm gonna play back and wait. Let's heal that guy. Try to lead my spear for the Hecarim. I'll wait for the Katarina. I'm watching her dagger. Okay, she's she's running away. It's fine. We're too strong to lose now. She's gonna dash into the Rakan here. I'm gonna plant, plant a trap right there. That's her only avenue. Uh, no, she's AFK. Okay, I'm done. Remember to use your Kruger form auto queue. Did you actually play Age of Mythology? Yes. Nice. 
I thought everyone knew this account was yours. Am I just too big of a netog stand? I I don't expect people to remember this name in particular. But I guess like more high level players watch me. I have no clue. What rank are you guys? 